Hi guys, welcome to my BioSK YouTube channel. You like my top? Look at it! Isn't it beautiful? No idea what it means, <laughs> but I love it. It must be spiritual. <laughs> How you doing guys? It's a lovely day. Welcome to Matt Bayeski Crystal's channel. Did I say Matt Bayeski? I don't know. I'm not, I've never known what's going on these days. <laughs> so much is happening. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for your messages about crystals. Um, today, we're going to uh, combine one certain crystal that I use to help um, absorb negative energy from what you guys know as um, chakras or power. I call them power points. Um, people are often talking about them in um, uh, how they vibrate and where they are, which which way they should be vibrating, which way you would cleanse and clean. I honestly, guys, with a hand on my heart, I have never known uh, any specific way that actually works on every single person when it comes to the PowerPoints, okay? How do I know what a PowerPoint is? I don't read books. I don't um, follow or study anybody else's uh, method because I wanted to feel it myself. I wanted to understand it myself because if somebody's telling me what to do, all I ever know is what somebody's told me to do. So I threw that away and said, look, I'm not listening to all that. I'm gonna try and figure this out for myself. I soon found that there were certain points where my hands were being drawn to. And those points were like burning my hand, completely burning, wow! So there was a difference between healing a certain part of the body than these what I call power points. And, and it, that's all I can describe it as because it felt like major power being pumped through here, whether that was through um, the spirit world as channeling or the power points that you have so a lot of the times um, I, I'd sit with a client and say, oh my God, I felt your heart and the PowerPoint. And they'd say, yeah, I've just, I've just um, you know, lost a family member. Right, I can feel that there and I could feel the healing work. Then I'd be doing a, a healing session on the next client and go to the, the head and doing my work on the head and say, wow, that is, that is like, oh my God. And they'd say, yeah, I've um, I've just done a retreat um, and I've cleansed my body. I feel amazing. I feel on top of the world. I, you know, and I went, wow, I can feel it. So, you know, I don't really buy into um, what people say about uh, chakras as such. I just know that when you go to certain power points or chakras, it makes you feel better. I say chakras. That I go to these chakras. Okay you feel an amazing sensation more than anywhere else in the body. And it's a surge of power. So um, what I used to do is uh, PowerPoint cleaning. And that was, they'd sit in a seat, my client, and I'd go from the top of the head, which I always found the most powerful place. And I just basically either move my hand gently or go up depending or down or the other way around, or just keep it there. And and your body, your natural um, sensation, your natural reaction will be what it is. So when you fight, when you're fighting to think, oh, I should be doing this because I read it in a book, you're going against what the individual client needs. So oh, what did you do then? I'd say, I'm not really sure, but I, I think I went that way. Oh, is that what you do? I don't know, but they'll come again. And I tried again and it was completely different. So I realized that like a crystal, every crystal is different. Every crystal has its own energy. But when you're working with that, you're giving the energy like you would to a crystal. So it's incredible how it works. Anyway, getting back to these PowerPoints, um, I found myself working on the forehead. Then I'd go down round about here, but sometimes I'd go a little bit lower here. And I found that it wasn't always there as you would think. Sometimes it was here and sometimes it was there. So I'd follow that down and then I'd go to the throat and I could feel the burning of the throat. And then I'd go down to the heart and feel the burning of the heart. And then I'd go a little bit further and then I'd go to the stomach and 
it was funny because I know this sounds really weird, but in my understanding, there are more PowerPoints. And um, so I, again, people will get angry because I go against certain belief systems. And I'm sorry that I do, but I feel what I feel and I can't help it. But one of the things I used to do is get down on my knees for 16 years and place my hands on the blooming knees, both knees. And I'm telling you, I got some amazing results from the knees. And then I would get my client, so my seat's here, I'd get my client to turn here, so the seat's there, and I'd go to their back, and I'd go to their lower back, and I'd place my hands on their lower back, and I'd get some amazing, amazing results. So, today we're gonna talk about how to cleanse, how I cleanse my PowerPoints or chakras, okay? I follow the energy of where I need to go by simply trusting. But some of you will say, well, I don't know where to go. Well, why don't you try it? So I take my crystal, which is my absorbing crystal. I'm not that here now to strengthen them. I'm here to cleanse them. So you can use a Moldavite to strengthen them. But a tactite, tectite is amazing. So how you'd use it is you'd hold it in your hand and you'd go to your head and you'd gently just scan the head. And then you just hold your hand there. And it's good to hold your other hand like this because you're receiving in this hand. But what's happening is the tectite is absorbing any negative energy that is around the PowerPoint. And as I'm speaking, I can feel my hand setting on fire now. And I honestly mean that on the ha with my hand on my heart. My hand is now getting so hot, you wouldn't believe it, okay? So I'm taking that away because I know it's working. So then I'd go down because I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to go down to my forehead, but I'm also going to go further down. Okay, so I'm now here. Now I can feel the warmth again kicking in. It's getting warmer and my, my palm here is getting very hot. So I know it's working now, so it's there. So then I'll continue going down and I'll go to the throat. I take a lot longer, by the way, I'm just showing you, okay? No, so there's nothing there I feel that... No, throat feels fine, I've got no sensations, but you know what? Stay there anyway for a little bit, why not? In fact, give yourself five minutes for each PowerPoint, why not? But if you, you know when you need to stay longer, you just know it, you feel it. So we continue down. Wow. <laughs> you can actually feel it in the stomach. So when you're working here, you can feel it in the stomach too, which is really interesting. So I feel it now, I'm feeling uh, my a neck sensation here like a tightness here. So whatever's happening here, I, th there was a sharp pain just there, so that's a good sign. So if I get a sharp pain in my body, it means that where you are, you need to stay a bit longer. And the secret is to wait till the pain is gone, okay? Don't, oh my God, that was terrible, get it away. No, 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 the, <laughs> it's brilliant. The pain is, is, is the reason why the crystal is being put there. It's a reaction which is positive, not negative. So now it's easing, it's easing. And this is exactly where the pain is, it's easing. It's getting better. It's nearly gone now. Let's give it a few, few more seconds. So now it's gone. So now I'm gonna continue going down. Okay, I'm gonna stay there because I now feel a tightness right where it is. Now my body's feeling like I've just uh, eaten something and it's bloating. That's how quick the tectite is for absorbing. It's, it's really brilliant. Tectite is bloody amazing. So I feel like a cramping feeling now, right? Which is a good thing, a really good thing. I feel like a cramp uh, in my stomach. And I'm just uh, keeping holding this hand because 
I think it's a joint energy work with uh, Keeling yourself and the, the Tektai absorbing. It's a brilliant way to cleanse your and clear and, and uh, your chakras, okay, your power points. So that cramping is now going. Uh, my 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 stomach feels as if it's expanding. Really weird, but good. All positive. I'm gonna go now a little bit lower down to my lower stomach. Okay. Yippee! <laughs> feels good. No problem there. Thank God. Stomach's always an issue with me because anybody who knows uh, who's sensitive feels it in the stomach that's great I've had a great two weeks so I, I, you know I can I can feel it in my stomach I feel strong which is great so that's good now I'm gonna go down to my knees uh, one at a time of course unless you've got two and I certainly have to I'll put another one there and put them both on my knees My knees feel um, a bit stressed. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it, are you? You just think I'm nuts, but I've gotta say, I think these are PowerPoints. I think somebody's missed out somewhere. And I think um, this is only my thought. I'm, I'm not here to change the, the books and the records and stuff, but I think somebody's missed out. I think people don't realize how powerful our knees are to heal. And I've just got to say this on a natural note. When we go to sleep, we often put our hands here. And that is a sign that the heart needs healing and strengthening. And that is possibly what we call the heart chakra or the power point there. But we also sometimes put our hands here as well when we go to sleep or lie down. Always take notice when you place your hands when you go to sleep or you have a nap because that's where you're giving yourself self-healing. Just a thought. Um, sometimes you might do this, put your hand when you're lying down, another thought. But also guys, when you sit down, where do you put your hands? Sometimes you put them on the knees. Why is that? Why don't you just put them somewhere else? Why do you put them on the knees? Because your body is self-healing. Now. There's one more uh, thing I'd like to finish with because my knees are uh, starting to feel better already, which is great. It just shows you how amazing Tektite is to absorb in negative energy. Last but not least, which is a struggle for most people, but for a healer, it's very easy. One of the most beautiful places to heal is... <clears throat> <laughs> so um that i believe is also another chakra or a powerpoint oh i'm gonna get some grief now from the people who have bought into all the chakras <laughs> just have an open mind guys have an open mind and forget whether you you learned something and you believe it's right or wrong forget all your belief just try it Get a tektite or a crystal that you believe is an amazing crystal for healing and stick it underneath your feet, uh, underneath your feet and just hold it. Or put the crystal on the ground like that and put your foot over it where your arch is, where the arch is, so you're not gonna break the crystal and just sit there and just let the work be done. I'm telling you guys, there is something very powerful that I believe I call a PowerPoint at the base of the foot, at the, the heel of the foot, at the underneath of the foot. If you place your hands in a crystal there, you will feel the healing, the power that the feet are actually amazing. And if PowerPoints are what I believe they are, which is a giver and a receiver, then surely it makes sense that when you go into mother nature and take your shoes and socks off, that the grounding that you feel is through your feet and not through 
what people talk about this base chakra. To me, it's your feet. It makes more sense to me that your feet are the power points, are the chakras, the lower chakra that absorbs the energy from Mother Nature. Anyway, it's just my thought. I'm not here to change your mind, but I'm here to, to just give you a little different take on spirituality, on chakras. And you know what? It's worked for me. It's worked for me. I'm not saying it's going to work for you, but it works for me. And it's worked for so many hundreds, if not thousands of my clients who use this technique. And yes, I haven't shared all of these techniques with you over two years, but you know what? Day by day, week by week, I keep introducing to new understandings that I've worked with for 16 years. My understanding, my belief, and what I've seen works through my clients. Okay, so that feels great now. I'm gonna take that away. Um, and that's my understanding on um, uh, absorbing negative energy from power points, through your power points, your chakras, AKA chakras is what you know them as. I call them power points. And that's it. And I've got to say, I feel now pretty good. I feel uh, when I first started, I kind of felt kind of dizzy, a little bit tired. Now I feel, I feel balanced. That's the word. And I think this crystal does that. Um, through the day, I wear at the moment, Tectite and Moldavite all the time. And the reason why is because I'm going through change. And whenever you have a black crystal, black crystal absorbs, heals, um, clears and helps you move forward from change. So it, um, you know, if you've got if you if you're stuck and you want change in your life, uh, tactite's brilliant as well. Tactite's brilliant for that, but so is black tourmaline, and so is onyx, and so is um, all the other black crystals. They're great for that. I believe this is my belief because colors are significant to Mother Nature. You know, colors are our signs. So within crystals, they give her out. They give us a sign through their colors, right? It's obvious if you think about it. It really is. So it depends what you see within a color in your life that will transform your life. So if I say to you, what do you feel red is significant to you as a color? You may say my heart, love. Well, there you go. There's your sign within the color. So you would get a red colored um, crystal to wear for love of healing heartbreak or whatever. So I could say to somebody else, you know, um, what, what would you consider pink to be? I, I consider it to be love. Okay, well, you go and get a pink crystal, which could be rose quartz and wear it, and that will heal you from love. So do you understand what I mean? I think we all have our perception to a certain color and a certain crystal. And I keep saying this to people. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what somebody who's wrote a book about crystals thinks and believes because it's their belief of what's helped them. So I would say to you ultimately at the end of every video, whatever I've shared with you, whatever you've heard from the whole of the world today, I want you to say, okay, I'll shelve that, I'll put it up there and I'll, I'll have that as a reminder. But what I'm gonna do now is try it myself. But also I'm gonna work out what feels right to me and I'm just going to see if my intuition is as important as Mark or Judy or whoever you know whoever these crystal healers are in the world let me see if I can really do the same as them because once you realize you can then you become your own master of your life's healing purpose of your own healing purpose. You become the teacher, you become your own guide, you become the expert on the crystal because ultimately that's what I try and teach you. What I share with you about doing this is what's worked for me. But you might do it and say, you know what, Mark, that, that worked there, but it didn't work here. 
and it didn't really make a difference. And I did, and I, do you know what I did, Mark? I went and grabbed this and tried this and this worked for me and I'd go, thank God for that. You're listening now. And listening doesn't mean listening to somebody else. Listening means listening to you. <laughs> and once you've got that, then you can bugger off and go and do your own thing without trying to find it somewhere else. And I'll say good for you. Because what made me so happy, and people used to think I was mad. People used to say, oh, um, that person kept for a healing session, never came back again. I said, well, maybe she didn't need to and she found her own healing because I said, you can heal yourself. And many people used to come back to me and say, you know, Mark, after that healing session, I realized that it was only me who could heal myself. And then I started self-healing and I'd be saying, exactly why I'm doing this work. If you keep coming back to me all the time, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> so that's, anyway, guys, I could go on forever, you know what I'm like. I love you all. Thank you so much for trusting in my crystals. Um, thank you for going to mattbyeski.com and buying your genuine um, crystals from me. Thank you so much. And uh, please keep working on your crystals. And I, st I still like to say this, I wanna give a shout out to all the crystal little shops out there in the world. Thank you for doing an, an amazing job. Thank you for being there for people who can't afford um, uh, crystals uh, from uh, certain people around the world. Thank you for gifting all the time. I know I've been hearing a lot of messages from little crystal shops and people who are bought from uh, crystal shops and people who couldn't afford. One of my last videos, I told people, if you can't afford a crystal, go out to a little crystal shop and spend uh, half an hour in the crystal shop. You've got all your crystals there. They're all yours for half an hour. Enjoy them. Well, I've been getting messages back saying that you held a crystal and you started crying and the, the shopkeeper gifted it you. That, my friend, deserves a mention. So if you ever... If, you, if that ever happens, send me a message, let me know, and I will uh, give them a mention to say thank you. And I think that is what's beautiful in the world. Uh, today I'm gonna gift three little, uh, no, five today, five uh, petite Moldavites, starter Moldavites, what I started with. So all you need to do if you watch this video up till now, all you need to say is the word, um, awakening that's it and then i'll choose five random people uh, out of love uh, uh, spirits helping hand to gift you a, a little starter moldavite if you've ever received a, a gift from me would you please today step aside and allow somebody else to receive uh, a gift that would be really kind thanks a lot guys from my heart to yours hopefully see you tomorrow have a great day uh, thank you for everything take care bye